What's up guys, it's Josh and we're back again with another video. Today marks the next installment in my series where I'm talking about all the AP classes that I took. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode on VC Calculus. Go check that out if you haven't. It's really fun to look back on all the old memories from these classes. In this video, we'll be moving on to another AP class. Welcome to AP Survival Guide, AP Physics 1 edition. So I took AP Physics 1 my junior year. At my high school, this was the first year that an AP Physics class was offered to juniors. So that was interesting. If you guys didn't know, the AP Physics 1 and 2 exams are only three years old. Because they are new exams, there's not a lot of practice material available. The exams used to both be combined into an AP Physics B class which was purely calculation based. But with the switch to the two new exams, they've adopted a very conceptual approach to the way that they ask questions. In my opinion, AP Physics 1 and 2 are much harder than the AP Physics C classes because they require a much deeper knowledge of the content, not just a surface level idea of how to apply specific formulas. My AP Physics 1 class was very interesting to say the least. We started with a class of about 31 students, but by the time we received our first test back, we're sitting at like 22. A lot of kids signed up for the class and didn't realize how difficult it was. Our teacher was a whole nother story. I don't want to say that she was a bad teacher necessarily, but she really liked to take her time when moving through the content. We moved at the pace of the slowest kid in the class rather than plowing through the material like it was intended to be. This led to some major problems. Like we literally didn't finish kinematics until December. No joke, it was really bad. Luckily, I realized in about March that I would have to start learning this stuff on my own and working ahead Otherwise, I would be screwed for the exam. And that's exactly what I did. I spent a lot of my spring break Myrtle Beach baseball trip sitting in the hotel room doing physics problem sets. What a fun time. I'm glad that I did work ahead and learn anything because our class literally spent one day on all of electricity and waves. One day for like a month worth of content. Through this ordeal, I learned a lot about how to teach myself material and study on my own. I hope you guys will find the following tips helpful. All right, I used three main resources when prepping for this exam. My physics textbook, the Princeton Review prep book, and my boy Sal over at Khan Academy. Here's how I would go about studying. I would work my way through each textbook chapter, taking notes on the major ideas and writing down the formulas and variables that would be needed. Then I would watch a couple Khan Academy videos to make sure I had interpreted the material correctly and knew how to solve problems involving that concept. Afterwards, I would tackle the odd practice problems in my physics textbook, and after finishing those, move on to the problems in the Princeton Review prep book. I did this for every single chapter and it seemed to work really well for me. Physics is a lot like math, where you have to do a lot of practice to get better and learn the types of questions that they're going to ask you. A lot of times the College Board website has all the previous free response questions that have ever been administered on their website, but since AP Physics 1 had only had one past test, there really wasn't a lot of practice material. You guys will have it a little easier since you'll have at least three practice tests to work through. I mean, the free response questions on the Physics 1 exam are really strange. Like, I don't remember writing down a single number on the free response section when I took my exam. Almost all the questions are purely conceptual. There's a lot of those questions where you have to like check the box and explain the effect of one variable on another variable. I mean, you're gonna have to write a couple paragraphs to answer some of these questions. There's also always one question on experimental design where you'll be presented a problem and you'll have to set up an experiment to test a hypothesis. This question always requires a lot of writing, so I want you guys to be prepared for that. As for the multiple choice, it's a lot more straightforward, but there's still some tricky questions, so I recommend using the Princeton Review to help you with those. All right, I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing my AP Physics 1 story, and hopefully you learned some study tips to help you guys with your exam this May. To support more videos in this series or content from me, drop a like and hit that big red subscribe button. Comment down below any questions or concerns or what you thought. I try to respond to everyone. As always, I'll be back again tomorrow at 3 p.m. with another video. See you soon.